In this example, we're going to examine how to solve a triangle using the law of sines. The law of sines is that the length of a um, the three sides of a triangle labeled by lowercase a, b, and c, and the angles with uppercase a, b, and c, that the relationship a over sine capital A equals b over sine capital B, or also c over lowercase angle C hold, always holds true. An example we're going to do, we'll start with a triangle with, with, that we only know a limited amount of information about. We know that we have a side that is 18, a side that is 21, and an angle that is 55 degrees. With this information, we can uh, apply the law of sines to find out the other angles and sides. We'll start with this angle right here, which I will label alpha. We can write 21 over sine 55. Notice that, sine 50, that angle 55 is opposite side 21 equals 18 over sine alpha. If we solve for sine alpha, alpha equals inverse sine uh, 18 over 21 sine 55 Then we'll calculate this. We'll end up with equals 44.6 degrees. And that's, we can simply work that out. Now, with this information, we now have two sides of our triangle. We also we have 44.6. Now, using the relationship that all the sides of the triangle equal 180 degrees, 55 plus 44.6 plus our other angle, I'll call gamma, equals, no, for confusion, I'll call it C. I apologize. 180 degrees. And with this information, we can solve for C. C gives us 80.4 degrees. Now that we know this, we can solve for the remaining side of the triangle. We will write out, we need, we'll call this side little c. So we'll have little c over the sine of 80.4 equals, um, we will type right 18 over sine 44.6. Now we can if we uh, rearrange the equations, we can solve for C. C will equal 18 sine 80.4 over sine 44.6. If we evaluate this, we will get 25.3. And we will have now solved our triangle.